I'm Alexandra Burke and this is Action Speak Louder. We all wrote letters, five paragraphs, 550 words. Our teacher mailed them off, sent overseas to people who never read them, people who would never listen. We were told these letters would help, that animals would return to their homes, that trees would flourish, that water would flow clear and blue as the morning sky. But I knew this wouldn't help. Not with our success measured by a grade, a percentage on a piece of paper, and not by the impact and the power our words had. Our paragraphs filled with pleas for change would fall on deaf ears. We are just kids to them. Kids too young and helpless to make a difference, to do anything but speak. We all wrote letters that day at school, saying we wanted change, but really just wanting the mark. I sat in a car speeding along the countryside, heading back home, gazing listlessly out the window when I saw something, a lone deer, standing atop a great pile of rubble stone, broken concrete, shattered glass, and whatever else man has left there to replace looming elms, rustling maples, draping willows. I called out and pointed at it to my family, who broke out into excited chatter and amazement at the sight of this creature. I looked into those large eyes, a brilliant auburn but petrified looking out at me with pain and confusion. I felt my heart shatter. I wanted to scream that it wasn't me who took their home and their family, who left him standing on a mound of rubble, never to be cared for by anyone. But it was. I was silent. I thought of the letter as just an assignment and nothing more, nothing that could actually mean something or change anything. We all wrote letters. They never wrote back. Maybe you never even read them. Maybe toss them out like any other useless piece of paper. But it was time to stop this. Empty words would never help. They made you feel good at the moment thinking you've done something great, only to realize the impact you've made is non-existent. I may be young, but I can do something. Something beyond just talking because words without actions are empty. We all wrote letters, but they didn't help anyone. Not the deer by the road, not any animal or forest. Maybe I couldn't help that dear, but I can change something. We all wrote letters. Most forgot about them afterward, but not me. I smile at a mother with two young children as I hand them a pumpkin and a bag of beans, fresh, organic. Growing at the school in the garden I'd created, combating pesticide usage by using organic local food. This isn't protesting or rallying or even making a public speech, but this is my way to help. My way to fight using my actions, using my actions to influence others to do the same. I know that every bill in my hand would go to a better world for all. We all wrote letters, but I didn't stop there. Coming back from school, I noticed a small plot of land for the first time. I saw the murky waters with pieces of plastic drifting about. I felt the rough bark of dying trees beneath my fingers. I heard the silent voices of the animals who used to call this place home. So I started fundraising, donation after donation, slowly building up enough to start restoring this lost paradise. Tree by tree, volunteer by volunteer, hour by hour, the land returned. We all wrote letters, but the paper in my hand now is different. It doesn't feel worthless and superficial. It feels priceless and appreciated because every dollar goes to charity and together we will make our voices heard even without saying a word. We all wrote letters. I can almost feel the paper in my hand. The leaf is smooth and waxy, but now it's different. Now it means something. I watch as a chipmunk scurries up the bark of a huge maple tree, one that I planted there three years ago. I glance down at the fallen leaf in my palm. What a beautiful color, auburn. We all wrote letters, but I started growing. We all wrote letters, but I restored the land. The letters did nothing, but our actions did. And I will keep fighting because I know that actions speak louder.